Okay, so this is by institution, and I think it's helpful to know that this is here. Um, now, what I'd like to do is think about something like this for, for technical. So what I'm thinking, we collect whether an SCH is academic or technical. So what I'm thinking is, in this report, because I bet you'd like to have it by institution, we could do something where we show the number of dual credit students, uh, the no and because you get students doing both, I really don't want to say we have this many technical on this one because it's, we're going to get duplication. It's going to, you know, we don't want to be splitting students in half. That would be bad. So I think we could do something where we have number of dual credit students, um, dual SCH academic, dual SCH technical. And then I don't even know, I mean, you can obviously, when you have this information, you can figure out the ratio. So I'll, we'll think about how much we want to put in there, but we, we could do the per student academic and technical, or we might just leave it the way it is and have an overall SCH per student, because you could easily see what's academic and what's, what's technical. Um, how does that sound? Would that be what people would like to have sort of by, so by where they're doing the dual credit, not, not the big statewide numbers. So we could also do it on that statewide report, because that breaks it down by gender and ethnicity. But here it would be, for every college that's offering dual credit hours, we would show what's technical and what's academic. That seemed like a logical place? Yeah. OK. You could use that. Yeah. And oh, actually, let me show you now that I think about it. So the other place we would probably do it then, because it kind of feeds this. OK, mm -hmm. thanks, Ginger. It's just slow. There we go. OK, so I'm going to open the one we didn't open before. This is the third file that we didn't look at yet. I think we have another question. Oh, sure. Go ahead. When we're talking about academic dual credit and current technical talking about the difference between ACGM and WACOM? Yes, we are. Okay. Just We just want to make sure, because we know and some of ours will actually go in, like the, the BIM 2 classes, a lot of times we do dual credit with the computer, whatever, I can't remember right. the, college, the, the college, the community college course. But you've, you've got like the, And it's actually an ACGM course. Like a BCIS. Yes. The, see, and this is where we're not going to be able to get something exactly the way you might do it. 